Also at 4.30, a stable inferno now being investigated in Lake Worth. That big blaze killed a dozen horses. This happened at the South Florida Trotting Center in Lake Worth. And now work is underway to find out what caused that catastrophe. Local 10 News reporter Todd Tongan is live in Lake Worth with a story. Such a sad and tragic fire. This place was pandemonium last night around midnight when that fire was discovered by a trainer and some grooms returning from a race down in Pompano Beach. And when they got here, the fire was fully involved. They did manage to, however, save 11 horses. I could see from up the road this place lit like a 4th of July. Sirens, police, smoke started breaking down. A midnight fire at this barn in Lake Worth killed 12 racehorses and has devastated the owner of the farm. I want to absorb as much of the pain for the people and the horses. I want to be as strong as I, my heart is broken. The barn is run by the South Florida Training Center, and all 23 horses were young, standard bred trotters being groomed for harness racing. Here are some photos of a few of the horses killed and saved from that fire. Amazingly, 11 of the trotting racers made it out alive, but two of those are in critical condition at an equine clinic in Loxahatchee. Those 11 were saved by trainers and grooms returning from a race in Pompano Beach, and folks here are calling them heroes. They literally ran into a burning barn to save the animals. The horses came out, and the horses ran back in, and these guys ran back in after them. Now the gruesome task of removing the charred carcasses has begun, and the investigation over how this fire sparked to begin with continues. And they still don't know what caused the fire. A groom from a nearby barn came over here. He said that that transformer was sparking, but at this point, investigators don't know whether it was sparking and it started the fire or it was sparking after the fire had begun and it, st it started sparking because of the heat coming off of the fire. In Lake Worth, Todd Tong at Local 10 News.